Hello everyone, it's me, Jayski Bean, and welcome to Everything is Going to Be Okay. It's a interactive zine, interactive online fan magazine thing, where the, here, I'm gonna just, the best accurate description is right here on the website. It's, um, it is a collection of life experiences, commentary on struggle, and oddly enough, my own version of a power fantasy. I have come to think that we have a backwards idea of power and perception of strength. We always have, and I think this is a byproduct of a historically patriarchal system. From religion to politics to economics, power is viewed as is viewed as how many people you can subjugate. Respect is how many people you could ha respect is how many people fear you because of your power. How you can get what you want at the expense of others. How you are the biggest dog in the dog eat dog world that we have to create it for ourselves. Our popular entertainment has always been drawn from this point of view. It's simply fact. You use your power to hurt your enemies and eliminate them. We don't really have a concept in our culture or, or discussion about alternative views of power from a survivor's standpoint. How is it like for survivors? Are people that live with trauma strong? Are people with mental disorders or PTSD strong? Why is suicide seen as selfish and weak? When the person that lived with it got as far as they did. We don't popularly view survivors, victims, traumas, etc. as strength. It is a weakness, and I don't like that. I think this is because we have created a culture where we cannot really move, ever move past pain. We don't teach people how to heal, to overcome, or be powerful. We teach people to become perpetual survivors. We live with pain, but no way of transcending it. I think a lot of this can be credited to how we view strength. I don't think the icon, epitome, or strength of strength should be how many people can you can hurt, conquer, overcome, but how much of this abuse you can overcome. How long you can live with what happened to you, how strong you are for being here, how powerful you are for being strong because you have no other option but to be strong. Surviving is one thing, but living with it is an entirely different fight. I think, and I think this is where examples of real strength are. If approached from this point of view, then it is an obvious conclusion that you should be celebrated simply for being here. You are normal for your imperfections and the way you cope. You are the hero in the story of your life, and you have every right to be proud. Alright, so this interactive zine is a collection of very abstract life experiences, things that the developer felt while going through hard times, and how he felt or moved on afterwards. He or she. I, I'm not really sure. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it. We're gonna start on page one. I'm gonna fall on some spikes. Something, something, a field of spikes. Dig here. Okay, bye. A rib cage. It is inappropriate to dig up old bones just to listen to how they sound. Impaled one time. Okay. Alright. Was there another thing here? Sun? Okay, so is this one of those things that's like the unknown developer games to where I have to like try to interpret it? <clears throat> but it does it does really feel I mean it So that one Maybe it was about digging up the past and how pointless it is. Let's look for page two. Where are you page two? Oh, there it is That was surprisingly survivable. Oh the spikes Seek wisdom. How are you so perfect in such difficult times? Oh my god, are you okay? Okay, sometimes sometimes you have enough. Oh motivational electric eels Uh, I don't want to save it bird a bird comfortably waiting for a boop boop Oh Birdie bird see this is so weird. This is so different. Oh my god. Are you okay? What do you say I have an intense amount of joy is expressed. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, part three. So this is supposed to be like a com it's from a comedy standpoint, you know, basically exactly what I just said. So am I not finished with page two? I guess it's not gonna let me go to page three until I finish page two. Then can't find page three. Let's just go to page four then. Favorite? My human host just quit in an industrious need of a non-robotic entity. Please, would you be so 
Okay. Dupe. Dupe. Okay. Are you human? 1 plus 30 equals apple. Can you get an STD by surfing porn sites without protection? It happened to me. You can get pregnant by accidentally looking at not safe for work image results. It happened to me. Your personality can get cloned with the deep learning and be used to commit crimes in foreign countries. False. That's false. You can't do that. The internet is an invasive parasite that requires the minds of humans' hosts to keep populating with the content. That is true. It's very true. Human host. Oh. Oh, wait. Games are art. Art is by nature free. Therefore, developers will never make money from their games. I wonder if that pops anything else up. Are you sure? When we die, our souls get trapped in a torrent file, but nobody ever downloads. It happened to me. Hello, can everyone, anyone hear me? My name is Igor, and I'm trapped in this pole. I cannot help. I have helped build the web and shared its vision of the future. Now I live to see the day when the cesspool of humanity dies. Send help. The internet is an unborn artificial intelligence that will one day unmake us all. All of the above. <laughs> Please help me, is anyone out there? My name's Igor and I've been trapped in this pole for too long and I can no longer feel pain. Okay. I have trained myself to read the comments and feel nothing. Women went extinct in 2030 and now all... What? Now all women on the web are super AI plotting revenge against the remains of mankind. Whoa! <laughs> JavaScript has killed us all. Nuclear apocalypse was inevitable given these attack vectors. All forms of government inevitably amount to humanity subjugation by super intelligence dude this is deep but marriage to i'm just gonna hit human host fact people need skeletons but skeletons don't need people stop it that tickles oh creepy um marriage between robots and humans is legalized men will lose all women to machines and the species will perish does or does not humanity deserve to be singled out and enslaved on the by the internet? This is a loaded question. Internet is a living, breathing organism that needs strong opinions and outrage to stay alive. It's true. Journalism is dead. Long live genera generated reality written by algorithms. Material world was never going to last, and we should be grateful that. Oh, there's no faults. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fill all these in. Does this thing it? Thank you for taking the internet internet personal identity quiz. We process your identity. You may thank us to meet your identity. Your identity has been logged in the same cloud. Identities have <laughs> song. Thou art drop dope ganger. Silver stout of tempered old masters that thou possess 17 teeth. Thou hast. <laughs> okay. Your internet personality. <laughs> so funny. You return back to the plane where you first met the bot. The bot looks up at you, eager to know if you have personality results. It asks you for them. You hand the bot the results. You refuse to give the bot. Ah, uh, give it to him. The bot gleefully accepts your results. Whatever it will do with its knowledge of you is unknown, but you have gained a friend. Okay. There's a lot of pages in this thing. What about five? Where are you, five? Is there no five? I'm gonna skip if there's no five. If I can't find five. There's five. Dies. <gasps> Sorry, my nose is really itchy. There's like a... Everything dies. Even the ones you love. So what was your story? I'm one of the friends acquired of the deep departest... Belo departed beloved. In the meantime, you decided to offer condolences and leave. Oh! Him. <laughs> Boop. Da. Boop. Okay. Yeah. And the public far off. Blah, blah blah blah. Okay. Okay. Wow, 
He's just He's just sitting there dead. Soupy mother. Hello. It takes a lot of strength to allow yourself to be vulnerable. That's why I admire people that share their stories. Okay. Uh, next Amazing. chapter. Amazing. Let's see what it says when we finish our story. You know, all this. Oh, I'm not dead. It was just happen. It was. I was just napping. False alarm, they were just napping. Yay! Boop. <laughs> okay, page six. Page six. Where are you, page six? Uh, there you go. My wife is pregnant with someone else's baby. Congratulations. Life is so amazing. <laughs> what? Dig here. It laughs at you. The software should never been unearthed. Boop. Boop. Alcohol is the answer. I'm with you on this. I've been brainwashing and believing that I'm an alien sex machine. I wish to join the profound community. Yay! Hey, everybody. I'm gonna make all the friends. They rejected your friendship. Uh. Okay, bye friends. All right, so oh, This is so many things going on at once. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all this. What did I just do six? This is seven. Yeah, seven <laughs> Whoa Relieve the beast sub tier 43 above uh, extend and Incredible caress, point out flaws and strong. Oh, we can't have nice things. Okay. Oh, it's not gonna let me give it a reason. Okay. Optimize Q65 for a what does that even mean? Donate a well-intended group. I'm just gonna be nice. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> oh, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. Oh, no. This is so strange. This is so strange. You're weird. There's eight. Eight or nine, maybe. Eight, nine. No. There's nine. Is there an eight somewhere? I'm gonna click on nine. All your friends have left you. Yay! You're ready to face the day. Okay. Aw! <laughs> Yay! Look at the sun. It's so nice out today. You do whatever you want. I will not change for the world. Would you like to review the calendar? No. Okay, so 10. I think this is the last one I'm gonna do too. 10 or 11, whichever one this one is. Black. Oh no. Again, hang in there as long as you can. Please don't give up. Yes. Yes. I to know that this was wrong. It's never going to be wrong. Uh, how do you even live after this? Lie to yourself. Oh no! <laughs> I'm just clicking the top ones. Why does part of me have to stay here while everyone else gets to move on? You can't let yeah. this take your life away from you. How can you be strong enough to live past this? Take this a moment at a time. Why don't I matter like all the others? No, don't say that. Bad things happen. There you go. You can't base your value on this. I mean, I get what the developer was trying to do. Like, I see it. You held out for two and four. They are strong. They can keep this all their life. They can do this all. 
Wow, they held out for 214 seconds. They are so strong they can do this all their life. I agree. Oh, that's so cool. See, this game has a message. That was about, like, people who go through trauma and all that stuff, and they hang on, and they don't give up, and they don't commit suicide and stuff like that. And I feel like this game passes across a really good message of optimism through your life, so you can continue and go on and not give up. And it's really cool. It's really cool how he delivers it, and, like, he tries to get at humor, but it's still kind of, it's got that creepy reality to it. So you ha you're aware of what's really going on, but you still have to be optimistic and look to the future and move past bad things that happened in the past. Which is great, that's an awesome message, I love it. Um, so yeah, that was it for everything's gonna be okay. I hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did enjoy this very strange um, webzine thing, um, go ahead and slap that like button underneath the video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.